What's good everybody, it's Bro and today guys, I'm coming to you with a brand new video, but before we get into that guys, please, let's go and leave a like on this video, let's try and get two likes, we've been doing a great job, so let's keep it up before I bump it to a very daring three. Again guys, subscribe if you have not already, so you can stay tuned to every single one of my uploads, hit the notification bell as well guys, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so starting off with the combo video, if you guys are not familiar with my formats, the way I format my combo videos are this, I start off with like the one card combos, and then I do like the two card combos, the pretty cool combos, and then the final final ones like the unique ones kind of like the powerful combos and things of that nature but before we get into the video guys please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe i'm going to be a lot more consistent i appreciate everybody sticking through but again starting off with the combo guys i'm sure you guys know it it's normal summon tour guide tour guide effect go ahead and summon out fiendish rhino warrior so again any deck like fiendic that can play tour guide like you should just absolutely be playing it like yeah you can say rhino warriors are brick in a sense but i mean worst case you pop the card or you just go ahead and summon it out from your hand i think tour guide can summon from hand right hand or deck exactly so it's not even a brick it's like connector except not as good but again we go into yama now again this is this is a custom card in and of itself like this card's crazy so chain like one yama chain like two rhino because you want to be able to chain block the yama because the yama is more important than the rhino so rhino will dump the second custom card which is sharvara like it doesn't make sense these cards are crazy this is just proof that konami has the ability to make any deck good if they just want to but it doesn't matter it like it's just crazy but anyways um enough waffling so we go ahead and yama go ahead and grab aruha and then shavar's effect is when he's sent to the graveyard he can set an unchained spell trap card onto the field which is going to be escape majority of the time you're going to be wanting to grab uh escape of course depending on your hands it will change but in general this is the combo that i want you guys to learn because then you guys can know how to beat it and you guys can know how to play it so you know two sides of the same coin or whatever the saying is but we use aruha aruha's effect is target a card in the field pop it and then summon it from hand then you lock into fiends we don't care our whole deck is fiend so it doesn't matter literally this card takes two fiend ones, so i don't know but we go ahead and we pop unchained um escape escapes effect is or well all the spawn trap is when it's pop someone from your deck cool so escape will trigger go ahead and summon out our sarama now sarama has the effect where you can target one unchained card in your graveyard except itself or whatever set it to your field then destroy one card on the field so we're going to go ahead and use sarama sarama will go ahead and reset the escape so that's why i said you almost will always want to get it and we'll go ahead and sarama to pop aruha aruha has the effect where when it's popped you can special summon from your hand or deck blah 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 so you go ahead and summon out the third custom card which is the shayama this card is crazy so you can target one card you control destroy it um then you can destroy one spell track around the field this is a new graveyard track one fiend monster destroy a it, banish whatever bottom of the deck it doesn't matter you guys will see why these cards are so important so again yama's already cracked but you guys will know even more why yama's broken but we go ahead and summon out the unchained soul of rage now this is just a one of the older cards but from here we can go ahead and use shayama's effect you're like wait a minute shayama has another effect all these cards are just crazy so we're going to use shayama shayama's effect will go ahead and pop sarama to summon himself out now you guys will see why this card says um if this card's in your graveyard try one fiend monster or face down card you control destroy it and if you do special summon this card but place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field this card is pff, i don't even know man this card's crazy but we go ahead and use shayama shayama pop sarama sarama has the effect of course where when it's destroyed you summon so they all float um abyss dollar go burr um, but from here we go ahead and summon our two sixes and now it's always important to get the red dog out and the reason for that is red doggy has the effect where he says um blah blah, blah. if this card is sent to the graveyard um you can set one unchanged spell trap card directly from your deck it's really important because during our opponent's turn we can actually detach this as material and get its effect um and you guys will see what i'm talking about because right now we're going to go ahead and summon out ddd wave high king caesar now one thing you cannot take away from ddd ddd is their boss monsters are crazy any deck that can play ddd monsters is always cracked like their boss monsters are insane like this guy saw morning um deus ex machina is like a sucky boy um ayo um Siegfried's like in the gate like all of them are really good but we go ahead and into um wave hiking caesar so now this is our end board so we have wave hiking caesar who says when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special is a monster detach from this card negate activation if you do destroy it no hard ones return um and then his effect will be able to detach too so like you attach one negate detach the other one de negate usually you want to attach charvara first just in case you don't need the second negate but then Char charvara will trigger to go ahead and get another um spell and track around the board on top of that as well you still have a of the unchained which has target one unchained monster you control one card in the field destroy them both um note one thing about this card is you have to pop both cards so like if i go special summon pancreas where my opponent does it and i use this effect to pop and then he goes chain pancreas to pop um caesar um this card will not resolve because you need to pop both and because i'm not popping the pancreas because it ran away you feel me but we're going to use um escape then escape can like pop this card or whatever and then yama has an effect so you're like wait a minute why is he calling a custom card not only does it search it has like it has an effect 
Yama's effect in the graveyard, and this is why a lot of people are playing the Bistrals, it says, if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, pass on one fiend from your hand or graveyard, then you can destroy one card you control. So again, then you can destroy, meaning that you don't have to pop. It is nice because, like, technically speaking, what you can do is, um, when the Sharvara gets detached, you can, like, set a card and then summon Yama, and then Yama can go ahead and summon a monster and then pop that card, and then you just get a real sticky, annoying board. But this card will go ahead and reborn your Rage, and then Rage can go ahead and link with your opponent's monster to go into, like, a Unicorn, go into, like, an Angle, and things of that nature so that's what makes the deck really annoying just because of the way it plays you get a lot of floating um any way to like you know be annoying to your opponent so that's it for the first combo and let's get on to the second combo all right guys now we're getting on to the second combo like i said for first combo tour guide second combo tour guide plus any like discard it can literally be any card like don't worry about it it can be fake trapping be whatever i was just using another tour guide just to showcase the power but again like i said before guys i'm showing you these combos one for those who don't know two for those who know but want to know how to beat it and three because it's a video and i want to be able to help you guys as much as possible because i'm not cringy gatekeeping but we go into summon tour guide tour guide in fact will go ahead and trigger now again this is a very generic play and you almost always want to have a setup similar to this so again you go tour guide summon rhino and then as soon as you can get to this where it's um yama chain link one rhino chain link two or yama chain link one sharvara chain link two you want that the best of your ability as possible right so we go ahead and use yama yama um will go ahead and grab us our aruha and then Rhino will go ahead and trigger to go ahead and dump Sharvara. And then Sharvara will go ahead and trigger to go ahead and set. So we're going to uh, set Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. Um, like I said before, it depends on the combo lines where you will almost always get escape depending on what you want to end with and things of that nature but you guys will see why um i'm getting abominable unchained whatever the snowman so we use a ruha ruha pop spell and trap card pop it trap card in fact we go ahead and trigger to go ahead and summon from deck so you grab sarama then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and use sarama so like i said for sarama resets and then pop so reset and pop a ruha and then a ruha will trigger to go ahead and let us summon out our water so unchain soul of shayama then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and link our monsters away into our rage because again um we always want to get this card in grave because it's a nice little extender but on top of that helps us pop our sarama to keep playing so from here we go ahead and use sarama sarama pop go ahead and summon out our shayama now sarama trigger so again there's a lot of triggering a bit go burr from here what i like to do is i like to summon out um abominable unchained soul for this combo in particular you can summon like a reikia um or the other guys or i think that's it right you can summon a reikia to pop this to keep playing i just like to have it in rotation because he can summon from the graveyard as well um, so it's pretty good. But from here, we can go ahead and link our monsters away into Muckcracker or Mookcracker. I guess the Muckcracker. Muckcracker has this effect. Cannot be used as link material to turn as link summon. If a monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, trip you one feed monster instead so you can trip it itself. You can target one feed monster in your graveyard. Just get one card and if you do special summon, I'll just cannot spell blah, 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 whatever. I don't care about the fiend lock because I'm, you know what I mean? So... We go ahead and summon Muckracker, and this is why I said we need the discard. So this will be able to let us discard our tour guide and then reborn our Yama. And now I'm I'm sure you guys can see what's going on now. So we go ahead and link. Now we go into Griffin. So note right here, okay? If we have an additional card to pitch to reborn or, or sorry, reset one of our cards, we definitely do it because then Griffin will net us a draw because Griffin is co-linked. If we don't have a discard, it's perfectly fine as well. A lot of people don't like this combo um, because it kind of loses to more like you're losing to Nib as opposed to like the high Caesar line, you can kind of change and manipulate it. But again, just for this combo i was just showcasing and the reason why i got abominable escape or whatever chamber is because this is the reborn that lets you reborn rage um and then rage can go ahead and link just know one thing that you don't want to use this until it's your last line of defense and the reason for it is as soon as you summon rage you're giving your opponent a pointer here for them to be able to summon link monster and be able to play so you want to watch out for that another thing is like if you link away and go into anguish you give them a pointer as well so that's just one thing to look out for but it doesn't matter because muckcracker is going to protect your board anyway so um we use rage and then rage can go ahead and go into anguish um or it can go into nightmare unicorn which is Honestly, going to every unicorn is a little too juicy because not only do you get a discard to draw, unicorn has another hidden ability where he says, um, during the draw phase, you can, uh, blah, 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 whatever. During the draw phase, you can draw one card for each different card among the cold link nightmares. So, like, you draw two cards basically. So, you discard one, draw one, and then you draw two more cards. So, it just provides follow play for next turn. So, it's it's really good in that regard. So, that was it for the second combo where, like, I'm going tour guide plus an additional discard. Now, let's get on to the third combo. All right, guys. So, now we are getting on to the third combo. Now, anytime I use Wailing of the Unchained Soul, it can be any card. Um, but just for, you know what I mean, just to showcase the combo of this deck or whatever. So this is going to be Sharvara. I think this one can be Aruha as well. Um, and then any spell trapper that you can pop. So it doesn't really matter what you have. So we go ahead and we want to set because this card says if this set card is a choice, you always want to set it no matter what. Um, you can go ahead and whatever. So Sharvara effect, quick effect, pop. So Sharvara will pop, summon himself, and then spell card will trigger to go ahead and summon up from our deck, our Shayama. So now we already have these two cards in rotation, so it's a pretty good combo. And again, like I said before, as long as we can get into Yama Chainlink 1, Sharvara Chainlink 2, 
you know you're doing something right even if you don't know what you're doing so yama will go ahead and trigger and similar to sharvara sharvara will go ahead and set our escape of the unchained like i said before that's usually the main one you want to get and then we get aruha normal summon aruha um and then you can use aruha's effect to go ahead and pop this will go ahead and uh, summon out uh, our escape of the unchained and then this will go ahead and get sarama and then go ahead and use sarama sarama's effect to go ahead and reset and pop card this will pop our aruha aruha will trigger to go ahead and summon out our reikia and then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and link our monsters away into our unchained soul of rage and then we can use shyama shyama go ahead and pop the reikia summon out shyama and then from here we can go ahead and use reikia to go ahead and summon out our sharvara so it's really important that you end up getting the sharvara in this rotation um or the reikia sorry because you want the additional pop um so you just want to be able to play around it i'm pretty sure there is a way that you can do it so you can get unchained um or abominable snowman in rotation uh the pop guy um, just for this combo sake, I just wanted to showcase like how generic the plays are really. It's just like any of the way of this guy or this guy and then any of this to pop. Um, I think I normal summon this guy at the beginning of the combo. Don't do that. Um, you, in order to use the effect, you have to target one card, um, pop it, and then special summon this card from your hand. So don't normal summon him. But yeah, this is just like a super generic two card combo. Now let's get on to the fourth and final combo. So now we're getting on to the fourth and final combo. Now this combo was more popularized when they started playing the... Um, dark contract of the gate or the swamp king whatever his name is um because you start playing more ddd cards so you try to end on a bigger fatter board but this one is just going to be a different variant of that so like i said before you can go sharvara and you can go wailing of the unchained soul now this is if you wanted to push a little further so we can go ahead and set and then use sharvara to go ahead and trigger and sharvara will go ahead and pop to summon out sharvara and then we can go ahead and use wailing to go ahead and summon out aruha from our deck now what we can do here is we can go ahead and link into our yama like i said before if you don't know what you're doing Go into Yama Chain Link 1, Shavar Chain 2, Unchain such a good deck, like it'll just autopilot you through it. So again, we go Chain 1, Chain 2, blah, 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 whatever. This will go ahead and set our Escape of the Unchained, and this will go ahead and get us our Sarama. Now again, it's important because we have not Normal Summed yet, so we can go ahead and Normal Sarama. Sarama Effect, and you guys know what he does, pops and resets, or Rashida, sorry. So pop and reset, reset the Aruha. It doesn't matter because this card says if the card is on the field, destroy by card effect. So it's okay that we reset it. Like I said before, this is a combo that you're going to be pushing for a lot more. So the lines are going to be a little bit stranger. But this card is supposed to be set. But we'll go ahead and use Escape of the Unchained. There you go. We will go ahead and use it to go ahead and summon out Shayama. And then from here, we can go ahead um, and link our monsters away into our Rage. And then from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and use Shayama. Shayama can go ahead and pop. Because Shayama doesn't need like a face-up fiend or whatever. Shayama says, um, blah, blah, blah. You can track one fiend monster or one face down card because it's a face down card you can do it you feel me so we go ahead and use this Aruha will go ahead and trigger Aruha will go ahead and trigger plus um yama sorry yeah so yama has the effect like i said for banish whatever um this will go ahead and go Aruha summon out um or yama summon out shavar and then Aruha go ahead and summon out reikia because you want the two threes and you want the two sixes and the reason for this like i said for one overlay into our wave high king caesar we want to overlay into our ddd king darius so this guy's he's pretty cool in what he does because like He's a level three or he's a rank three. He has a unique effect where he's like during the first turn, detach one material, target one dark contract, destroy. And if you do draw a card, so like I said before, if you open the gate play, you can detach pop card. And then he has like a unique effect where he's like detach one XYZ material. This card is un unable to be destroyed by battle, whatever. And like you pop a card or it's like a free Zeus thing. You know what I mean? So we're going into that. But the reason why we do that is because we can go into Deus X Machina or Sucky Boy. So this is what I was saying, right? the other combos that i showcased before so the tour guide combo is like the more generic one and then the tour guide plus discards like the gassier one and then the other one previously before this so i think combo three was is like sharvara plus a pop that's the most consistent combo you can get depending on what your hand is you can sequence it so you can play around any hand trap you want you can play around nibiru things of that nature and then this combo is like more of like the fun combo where like you're ending on more but again you're losing to more as well just remember that guys right um you want to pick and choose and that's the benefit of being a good player versus an okay player is you want to be able to play around as much as possible but yeah like i said before this board's really good because you have wave high king caesar who's two negates you have deus x machine x if you guys don't know what he does is he says this um blah blah, blah uh whatever it's called you can only control one guy when your opponent activates a monster effect um you can detach two materials or destroy one dark contract and if you do attach that opponent's card to this card's material meaning you have two solemn warnings so you have detach negate detach negate and you have this guy who's a detach two to take one and then he goes back to two so even if he has three material it doesn't matter then he goes back to two and then you still have the rage that can go ahead and send away send away to go ahead and synchro summon or sorry link summon so again guys that was it for the four combos if you guys really enjoyed the video please go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe for more awesome content so guys that was it for the video if you guys like the video please go ahead and leave a like on this video if you made it to the end of the video and you are not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe because what are you doing but anyways guys my name is hamza and like i always say keep on shining never go on your dreams peace